Oh my gosh, you guys, you did it. <laughs> you made it to the end of Plastic Free July. I hope you have been enjoying this ride. I hope you have been learning a lot. I hope you've been seeing that there are so many different ways for you to make switches in your day-to-day -day life that can help you be more sustainable. So on this video, I'm going to be sharing the winners of the Healthy Planet giveaway. Yay, I'm so excited. And I'm also going to be sharing a little bit more about some of my breakthroughs and takeaways from the last 31 days of doing Plastic Free July. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Kara Michelle and I'm here to help you live your truth. So throughout the course of this month, there were a few uh, prevalent themes that I noticed coming up that I felt like maybe you could relate to. So I don't know if you are someone who kept your own little um, jar or your own little bin to keep track of your plastics. That was one of the options or, or thoughts I mentioned at the beginning of the month, which feels like it was like years ago now. I don't know, it feels like the longest month ever. Um, but keeping, keeping that jar and to collect your own plastics. So one of the things that I noticed, especially over the last month, was just how, I mean, I've been doing plastic free not fully, but I have been like very aware of it for the last few years as I've talked about. But throughout re-going through this process with you guys and, and reopening my eyes and sharing and, and doing all this stuff, I really noticed again just how much I already had that was plastic. So I don't know about you, but like going into drawers in the bathroom or seeing like I mean, I don't wear much makeup or anything, but seeing like all of these products and different things I had bought when I was younger and all these like lip balms and nail polishes and like different things that um, have plastic, either plastic lids or had plastic wrap or were fully plastic containers. And so I know for me, it kind of re reaffirmed and, and helped me see again to be a more conscious consumer. And I think ideally that is the whole point of Plastic Free July is like, sometimes you go into a store and the main option for you is to purchase something in plastic. Sometimes there is a jar option, so it's better, but sometimes there isn't. And it can be really easy to then feel bad or beat yourself up about it, but the whole process the whole point of this is just realizing how can I reduce my impact you know as I've said in other videos this isn't necessarily about being perfect if you can and if you're so passionate and you want to go all in and you want to be like some of the amazing amazing inspiring women who are totally plastic free and zero waste and like not purchasing anything that is going to end up in a landfill um, then that would be amazing and that would be so cool, right? But if you're not, it's it's not about feeling bad, it's not about beating yourself up, it's just about making the best possible decision you can make each day. So for me, that's like, you know what? I already have some of these things at home. Do I actually need like a new one or do I need a different one, right? Or can I use what I have and can I make the most out of it? Or can I finish what I have first? So even looking at, like I said, nail polishes or different makeups or different things that you maybe already have in your house, can you finish those, recycle, and hopefully the plastic that it comes in is a recyclable plastic? Um, or could you repurpose it and use those containers again, like I've shared with these little guys or different jars or um, all these different plastic things that I have kind of upcycled to reuse again somewhere else. So it's really about like having that awareness and trying to make make a difference each day with what it is you're purchasing or what it is you're consuming instead of every day getting your Starbucks coffee in that mug or in that um, single use container that's lined with plastic, right? And it's got the plastic lid bring your own that's such an easy switch and you can still enjoy your coffee you don't need to um like avoid going out for foods or going out for drinks it's just about being more prepared and more sustainable when you're there so 
I know for myself, this month has been a good reminder of that. Uh, again, not that I'm like out shopping and spending on stupid things, but it did help remind me of like, hey, you know what? You've actually got a product kind of similar to this. Like, why don't you just use that? Or like I said in one of the other videos about like thrift shopping and upcycling and and even clothing exchanges can be great. I know right now with the virus, this is not necessarily the best time for that stuff. But yeah, instead of purchasing new clothes that sometimes contain microplastics or often do actually, um, then and like being a part of that one time, one use consumer cycle, you know, how can you, how can you share? How can you trade? How can you, um, some of my friends a few years ago did like a big clothing swap and everyone got together and brought whatever items of clothing they no longer wanted. And they, they brought some drinks and they brought some like hors d'oeuvres and snacks and just like wandered around. And if they saw some of, some clothes from someone else that they were like, oh, I love that. They just did this exchange. And so it became this really fun and easy way to get new things and, and like spruce up your wardrobe without going and buying a whole bunch of new things that are part of the the economic problem and part of the sustainability problem and part of the um like uh not necessarily always like slave labor or child labor but um like un un unequal employment and like really negative harsh working conditions so you're no longer part of that right I think it's all about being creative thinking out of the box looking at ways you can repurpose things you already have so as you're throwing things into the recycling bin if they are something you can reuse or you could oh this would really work over here do that and try it out and have some fun with it and just be creative be uh, exploratory and then see what comes from that so please in the comments below you guys this is our last day let me know how it went you can say i went plastic free for july or like i tried 31 days of plastic free um but let me know what your biggest takeaway was let me know um what you're excited about for the future just share share away and I can't wait to read your comments and see all the things you've learned or all the shifts you're making or the big breakthroughs or creative ideas you have around different things you're going to do in your day-to-day -day life to help you continue to bring this forward. So with that said, you guys, I did the draw. <laughs> I'm so excited, so thankful for all of you who have been tuning in and taking part this past month. So we have our lucky winners. I have been putting everyone's names into a spreadsheet as we go and all of the entries in there. And then I did a number generator online to pull up two lucky numbers. And then I just matched those over. So dun, 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 drum roll. <laughs> um, we have Emily, you are one of the winners of the Plastic Free Giveaway, so I will be sending you a message to let you know that you've got your prize. We'll get in touch um, and I'll get you to email me so that we can organize your package delivery and I can get all your info and get that to you. So congratulations, Emily. And then the second winner, Danielle, you are the second prize winner. So I'm going to reach out to you in the comments as well. We can connect and I can get all your info and we can go from there. So thank you both for taking part. Thank you guys to every single one of you. Even if you're not a winner, I highly recommend you check out one of the previous videos where I talk about your own plastic free travel kit. And this doesn't have to be travel, but this just is like your essential kit of all these things I've talked about over this month how you can create them, bring them with you, and just have that sustainable little package that you've got there. Um, but for Emily and Danielle, congratulations. I will be sending you your own plastic-free starter kit from Healthy Planet and from myself. So just as a thank you for being here. And um, again, I truly hope you guys enjoyed this month and that you learned a lot and that you were able to make some shifts. Please comment below and share with me and uh, 
We may be done Plastic Free July, but let's see how we can take this through into the rest of our lives and into our shopping habits, into our awareness and into our, our, our lifestyle, our choices and everything that we're doing. So I'm excited to continue to be as plastic free as possible in my life. Again, I will, I'm not perfect. There are things and, and that was the thing this month. There were things in cupboards even where I was like, oh, well that's plastic and that's wrapped in plastic. But if there are things I've already purchased, I'm not going to let them go to waste. I want to use it. I want to appreciate it. I want to honor it. I want to be grateful for it. And then when it's done, I look at how can I use this or what is the best way to get rid of this in hopefully a way where it is actually recycled and how can I avoid purchasing something like this again in the future unless I absolutely need to or how can I make shift my own or, or what kind of creativity can I bring in here to help with this situation. So um, thank you guys and please be on the lookout as I do continue posting more plastic free stuff and stuff about sustainability, stuff about being vegan and the shifts and the impact it has on your health, the planet, the environment, the animals. Um, I'm really excited to be diving into a lot more eco-friendly stuff over the course of my channel here and Plastic Free July was just like the starting point to really kick it all off. So I hope you'll stick around with me. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to stick around, please make sure you hit the subscribe button turn on the notification so that you're the first to see these videos when they come out. And I truly appreciate your support for this channel, you guys. I appreciate every single view, uh, every single viewer, every single one of you who's commenting and enjoying and learning and um, sharing and just being a part of this journey. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being here and I uh, hope you have a beautiful day.